In this forecast, severe weather will be possible across North Texas today and tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk for severe weather for today and a marginal risk across North Texas for tomorrow. And a strong cold front will cool down North Texas this weekend. All of that and more is coming right up. This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four-minute forecast going over everything that you need to know about the severe weather potential for the next few days. Getting started with this evening, we have a slight risk for severe weather across northwestern North Texas and a marginal risk for the rest of North Texas. The main threat for tonight being damaging wind gusts in the Metroplex. Large hail may be a concern back out to the west where the storms initially developed, maybe up to the size of hen eggs. So keep that in mind for this evening, especially make sure you bring your car into your garage for a precaution. Getting into the future right now for today right around three four o'clock this afternoon storms may develop that early depending on when the cap does break and the cap may not break so if it does break though some supercell storms could develop you can see right around six to seven o'clock this evening outflow dominant storms will likely approach the metroplex this might bring the potential again for damaging winds in the metroplex up to about 70 miles per hour may be a concern again it's going to be dependent on if the cap does weaken tonight eventually this will all move out after midnight so we're not going to see any overnight storms by any means most of this will happen during the evening tonight we have a much better chance at severe storms going into Saturday and just to mention by the way today's th threat will be pretty low I'm only expecting about 30% of us to see storms if the cap does break but going into tomorrow's threat we have a marginal risk for severe storms as of when I'm recording this this may be upgraded to a slight or enhanced risk I can't rule it out because of the potential that we have main threat being damaging wind gusts and also large to potentially very large hail also gonna be concerned on Saturday take a look at the future radar three to four o'clock on Saturday several severe storms will likely develop between about two to four o'clock again the, the cold front will be a Approaching, which will bring a much greater chance for storms leaving the cap out of the question at this point we're not really going to see much of a cap because of the cold front by 6 o'clock, you can see a line of storms starts to develop, pretty much broken at this point. By 7 to 8 o'clock, storms will start to develop and move back out to the east. Again, a good more portion of us will see storms, especially along and just east of I-35W, so keep that in mind. And again, I do expect that threat to increase in terms of the severe weather potential for Saturday. Let's take a look at the temperatures for this morning and see many of us waking up in the low to mid-70s, pretty much the same as it's been the last several days. Temperatures by this afternoon, though, will warm up into the mid-90s, so slightly cooler than the last couple of days, but not by much. By the way, the amount of rainfall that we'll see out of this and out of all the events that we'll see through Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, is going to be very beneficial. This is the current forecasted uh, rain totals over the next several days. So you can see many of us seeing between about one to two inches. Some areas might see between three to four inches of rain. So again, a lot of beneficial rain coming out of all of this. Take a look at the temperatures this weekend. You can see going into tomorrow, it might be 100 degrees in Dallas. You can see near Wichita Falls and Sherman. Might only be in the 60s and 70s. It's a huge difference across the board. A cold front will move through, as I mentioned before, going into Sunday or really late Saturday into Sunday morning. Temperatures when you wake up on Sunday, 40s and maybe some low to mid 50s. It's going to be chilly back out to the north. Eventually by the afternoon, many of us will barely get out of the 70s. Some areas might get closer to 80 like Dallas and maybe as well as Cleburne. But other than that, I mean, back off to the north, mostly just in the low 70s. So a beautiful weekend ahead. You can see temperatures going to tomorrow morning will be really similar to today. Maybe Childress only in the upper 50s, by the way. Temperatures by tomorrow afternoon. Again, the cold front will move through late Saturday. So again, we'll see temperatures most likely peak in the mid 90s. But again, we're going to see a pretty nice week ahead. And this is the latest on the seven day forecast, by the way. Not not many days beyond Sunday of actually having anything beyond 80 degrees. You can see only 80 degrees on Monday and Wednesday. Storm chances are going to exist, it looks like, for a good portion at least of next week. So good news there, as we do need the rain. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, all against repair in the Dashner Law Firm.